Hi, I'm Dr. Ron Miller of CashBaseDPhysicaltherapy.org, and today I'm going to tell you the one time when I sat down with a venture capitalist and pretty much he blew my mind. And this is going over the concept of what is your circle of influence? Okay, so for those just starting out in business, um, what does this mean? Who do you surround yourself with? Who is your personal network that you can reach out to for advice, you know, for referrals, for business strategies, etc.? What is your circle of influence around your area when you open up a cash-based clinic? So remember, if you take a step back and look at the big picture here, all the people that are injured and in pain, you're not going to help everyone, okay? And it's okay to target a niche market or a certain group of people to run a business and to help them, give them the high quality treatment, and grow your business off of targeting niche markets. That's perfectly fine with that. You're not going to help every single person who's in pain. Okay, so the next step is, you know, what is your circle of influence or who do you surround yourself with as you're opening up your business? And when you own your business um, and it's growing and thriving, you know, you're now an entrepreneur or a small business owner. Okay, so you have to start thinking and surrounding yourself with other successful businessmen and women, CEOs, entrepreneurs, and picking um, ideas off of them. I'm actually creating a, a young entrepreneur CEO group um, in like the Orlando area and I'm surrounding myself with some great people. I have a great idea with this. So we're going to create an exclusive young entrepreneur CEO group and just run ideas and kind of like a mastermind group and meet maybe every quarter or so and kind of challenge each other to grow each other's business and problem solve. But anyway, who is your circle of influence? Okay. And you may not realize this until you all of a sudden help this CEO or entrepreneur who's very, very successful. And then the doors are going to open up because he can, he's going to start the word of mouth referrals in among his group of friends. So um, who he is surrounded with successful people or, or even she. You treat someone who knows a lot of people around your area, your circle of influence is just going to grow exponentially as soon as you help that one person who knows like everyone around you or the owner of this company and then you know my recommendation is this too take full advantage if your patient is a CEO or is a owner of a business take full advantage of that ask them questions take them out to lunch you know interview them ask them what it takes to succeed what marketing strategies work you know what are some business things that help them succeed you know ask them questions because they're going to want to help you out. And a perfect example of this is I had a patient who I helped out a lot. Her husband was a CEO and a venture capitalist. And he was willing to take an hour of his day. Who knows how much he would have really charged me. He came in and he let me interview him for an hour. And it absolutely blew my mind. Unbelievable. It just got me thinking. After that hour, I was so mentally fatigued. It was unbelievable. So I learned a lot from that session. But the thing that blew my mind, which was, he was like, Ron, I don't care if the economy is good or bad. I was like, hmm, okay, what do you mean by that? He's like, well, if the economy is thriving, and things are going good. I had my venture capital firm and we invest money and we make make money from that. If the economy is down and bad, he has a consulting firm where he invests in small businesses to help them overcome a bad economy or a struggling time. So whether the economy is good or bad, this guy is still designed a way that he's still making money. And it just blew my mind and I was just fascinated by this. So um, that's my story about, I mean, there was many more questions that, that I asked and, you know, he even put me in my place a couple of times and called me out, which is good because we need that as a small business owner. We need to be surrounding ourselves with a great circle of influence, other CEOs, successful people, other businessmen, other businesswomen, and pick their brains and have them challenge us because when they call you out on something, you'll learn from that and you'll grow from that and you won't make that mistake again and you'll be able to grow your business that way. So um, my question for you is, who is your circle of influence around your area? Are you surrounding yourself with the right people, you know, not patient wise, but 
entrepreneur wise, business owners, people to network with who you can ask questions to and help you grow too. So um, if you have questions for me about circles of influence, mastermind groups, um, other CEOs and stuff like that, please send me an email. I hope this gets you thinking again and thank you for your time.